Hello everyone, RWT here with another video and after my last rant on Dominion Intrigue Power Creeps, some people told me that I should have a look at, at other expansions if I don't like Intrigue too much. And well, I thought I'd pick them in order and the next one that got released was Seaside. And yeah, I really like the theme here. I like the uh, sea theme. It was all pretty fitting. And also I like that the cards were more colorful, but more to that later. But there were some really weak cards in this one. Um, yeah, some of the set was yeah so weak that it didn't get bought and was just sitting there and was no fun. So let's have a look at the weak cards that are in Dominion Seaside. First of all we have Wharf. It's a 5 cost duration card. Duration card means that um, you do something this turn and something in the next turn. But this costs 5 and all it gives you is plus 2 cards and plus 1 buy. Doesn't even give you an action. And yeah, this is like super weak. I compared it to Council Room that gives you plus 4 cards and plus 1 buy. And yeah, you can play Council Room in 2 turns. That's then plus 8 cards, plus 1 buy. And this one, over the course of two turns, is only plus four cards, plus two buys. And yeah, that's pretty weak. Also, there's this thing that you might not even get a second turn, because the other player buys the last province, and then the game is over, and then you paid five for a card that just gave you plus two cards, plus one buy. And that's clearly too expensive. And the same problem is here with Tactician. You basically give up your complete turn and uh, get plus 5 cards, plus 1 action, plus 1 by the next turn. So the next turn is quite powerful, I have to admit. But sometimes you could have bought a province, but then you had to discard your golds and your silver. And well, next turn you can buy a province, maybe even two provinces, but uh, overall it was basically the same. And yeah, here's also the big problem that you might not even get the next turn, and then you just wasted the turn. So this card never got bought. Lighthouse is alright, it's cheap. From the action part I can't complain, plus one action, plus one coin, now and at the start of the next turn. That's okay. But how it defends against attacks is a bit weird, you have to have it in play. And then you are unaffected. So with mode you don't even have to play the mode, you can just reveal it from the hand, it doesn't cost you an action or anything. And yeah, you can choose to not reveal the mode if you don't want to not be affected by the, by the attack, so that might matter. And here you don't even have the choice. So it's alright, it's not the worst, sometimes it gets bought, it gets bought if the attacks are too hard. But I prefer my mode. But this card, on the other hand, is really bad. You get plus one action, okay, and then you look at the top three cards of your deck, and you have to trash one, there's no choice. Even if there are only three good cards, and, well, you discard one, that's okay, and the other one goes back on top. But I mean, what did this even do for you? Other cards give you plus coins, plus cards, and this one just does some random stuff on the top of your deck, and you can't even control what it does. It could trash a good card if you reveal two provinces and a gold, you have to trash a gold. Or even worse, if you review three provinces, you have to trash a province. And I mean, at this point, you basically lose the game. So this card is so risky and so random and does so little for you that no one even buys it. This one is a bazaar. It's like a village with plus one extra coin, but it costs five compared to village that only costs three. So that's a little bit expensive for what it does. I mean, if my village draws a copper, then I also got plus one coin out of it. And yeah, maybe at four it would be all right, but five, it's it's too much. I mean, sometimes we buy it because we have to, we need this effect of the village, but yeah, we don't really like to get it for five. Would have loved to get it for four. So this one, Salvager, is a card that allows you to trash other cards for plus one coin.
coin per one it did cost. But I mean, what do I even want to trade with it? Curses cost zero. Coppers cost zero. And compared to Moneylender, which would give you at least plus three when you treasure copper, this gives you nothing other than the buy. But there are other cards that give you buys. Um, and well, the best thing probably is still trashing estates with it. I mean, you lose the points, it hurts, but uh, you would get plus two out of it. And all the other cards, I mean, there are a reason that those cards are in my deck. I want to keep my silver, I want to keep my gold, and of course I want to keep my province. Um, why would I have bought it otherwise? So this card is weird. I mean, I could see it with Swindler maybe from the Intrigue expansion where you get cards in your deck that you don't want, but that cost more. But other than that, it's a pretty bad card. So this one, I don't get, I don't get why they did this. Um, it is plus two, that's all right, but it's like a silver that goes away once you play it, because you have to trash it when you play it. And uh, why would I buy something just to trash it the next turn? And then I can um, put one of those embargo tokens on the supply pile and whenever someone buys something from the pile they gain a curse. But why would I want to put something, so put it so that when I want to buy something then I gain a curse. I mean you don't really want to put it on the good action piles or the good cards because then you self have to gain a curse. Um, and if you put it on the bad cards, well, then no one gains a curse, because no one buys this anyway. So most of the time it gets only used because you want to buy something at two, because you don't have anything else to buy with your two coins. Maybe you open five two, and then you get embargo. And when you play it, well, usually you put embargo tokens on the embargo, and then there's that. No one else buys embargoes anymore. Hooray! This one is the warehouse, it gives you plus three cards, plus one action, but then you have to discard three cards. And it's simple math. You draw three cards, you discard three cards. I mean, this card could even say plus one action. Do nothing. Draw zero cards. Overall. Uh, so I don't really get what you want to do with this one. And last of all, and also the worst of all cards, is the ambassador. You can reveal a card from your hand and return up to two copies from it to the supply. And then each other player also gains a copy of it. So that's, the other cards are maybe weak, but at least they do something good for you. This one just helps the opponent. I mean, you could return curses with it, sure. That one would be a quite decent attack. But there isn't... I mean, I don't want to buy a curse and an ambassador just to return the curse to the opponent, that sounds weak and way too slow. And everything else, I mean, I return to estates, they gain a state that is like, if that's like a three point difference and like I did donate then a, a duchy, why would I want to do that? And the same with coppers, I get rid of two coins and they get a coin. Uh, I don't see any way you really want to use it unless there's maybe witch in the kingdom. So there you have it. Seaside, not power creep this time. The, quite the opposite. So many weak cards. But it's Dominion, right? Sometimes you gain weak cards and you have fun with them. And that's alright. So see you next time. Goodbye.